Hello guys and welcome back to round one of the GML. This is the final games in the uh, first round between Doubt and Tim. Two games to be played between these two titans of AOC. And uh, I've got to warn you before these games actually get going that both of the games did drop unfortunately because Doubt has a little bit of a bad internet connection at the moment. And that means that Doubt managed to, uh, well, somehow dropped both of the games. Uh, what happened was they both restored afterwards, uh, once Doubt came back, and they played until the end. So I do know the final result, but unfortunately, the recorded games do get cut off around halfway through, or whatever percentage of the way through it is until it dropped, because... Uh, yeah, you can't continue a recorded game after the game drops, unfortunately, which is something that's going to be fixed in 1.1 user patch. Um, but for now, unfortunately, it's just going to have to be the way it is, and uh, we're going to have to deal with the fact that we won't have the full recorded game here, which I know is going to annoy some of you. It's certainly kind of annoying to me as well, but it's just one of those things that really can't be avoided at this moment in time. So, what have we actually got today? Well, we do have the first map here being non Nomad. Any guesses as to who chose this? Well, it was Tim who chose this map, and uh, he is playing in blue as Persians over here, and he's setting his town centre up on this wood patch here, quite close to the water, and uh, he's getting his dock up over here as well, quite close. All of his villagers fairly close together. Doubt is playing in red as Persians as well, and he is slightly further left of Tim, his dock too up to the north of the map quite close to Tim's dock there and uh, yeah I quite like Nomad it's a it's quite a cool map and I thought when I actually saw this that Tim would have chosen Nomad it seems to be his map of choice recently and I've seen quite a lot of Nomad games that involved him uh, he definitely seems to be playing this map a hell of a lot and one thing I do like about it is at the start it's in like unlike land Nomad you don't have to build your lumber camp you can build a town centre straight away and you can afford a dock as well and we'll see fishing ships from both of these guys very early on very quickly and uh, that is that's quite a cool thing it gets things going a little bit faster, but then you don't have these stupidly high resources that you do in LN, where you, do, where you have like four or five boar and a million sheep. Uh, in this map, well, there's less boar for sure, and um, there are less sheep and such as well, so that is something uh, to be cautious of and be wary of. Uh, Tim just sending a villager out now, we're probably going to build a house or two with her and explore the map a little bit as well. He's exploring with sheep down here but Tim doesn't really have many sheep at the moment. He does have a fishing ship out on the water though and I think Doubt will be in a similar situation. He has uh, one sheep as, oh no he doesn't even have one sheep yet, he's still looking for sheep with his villager. It's a common thing to see villagers exploring around the map, building houses as they go and uh, getting some exploration done to try and find some sheep. So neither of these guys with any sheep really at the moment. And uh, Tim in the slight score lead, I think due to his exploration of the map, if we have a look down, really hasn't explored that much. Getting fishing ships out now though, first thing they're going to do is focus mainly on to the wood to get these fishing ships out. And then we'll probably see grushing. One thing I do like about Nomad is it's often quite hard to wall and sometimes players start very very close together indeed and that's really cool because first of all it means that you get um, you get very fast attacks firstly on the land and on the water. Players can't really afford to go for a late feudal age because they can get attacked on the land. If we have a look, they are very close together and there's no real way they're going to be able to wall this unless there's a huge palisade that comes up here. Uh, but even then you can still go around the outside anyway. Uh, it's really no big deal to go around this little forest. So. Um, you can see a mixture of grushing and land attacks at the same time and I think that's really interesting because it's one of those few maps where you do see that uh, oftentimes when you have a water map you see mainly just water 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 and then when someone loses water they resign and when you see land maps obviously you don't see any water at all but in this you see a little bit of best of both worlds it's important to keep your fishing ships alive and take control of the water and it's also important not to neglect the land and try and uh, attack or flush your opponent as well. And I'm sure we'll see something along those lines here today. Tim still trying to find some sheep. He's just missed these ones here. Very close indeed. They are right there and just just missed them. Still looking around with his villager now and he's found two down here. He's also found a boar but it's well away from his town centre and I would hate to be Tim and try and lure these two right now because you just wouldn't make it. It's as simple as that. Even with the loom you would not make it. 
Doubt, on the other hand, he has just found a sheep now. He's still trying to find uh, some stuff and look around the map, see what's what. Find his gold, because of course you don't start with the scout cavalry. Uh, forgetting to build a house there, actually getting population capped. You just need to build a house quickly, and he's not doing that. There we go, he's just going to do that up there. Getting population capped, not something I really expected to see from Doubt at this stage, and especially at this level. Um, yeah, kind of a bit, a bit weird that he got population capped there. Um, Tim, on the other hand, doing just fine. His score slightly further in the lead, finding more sheep now as well, and he's really going to be able to get some good map exploration going. I think perhaps uh, he bumped into doubt somewhere. He doesn't really know exactly where he is just yet. He's still looking around trying to find him. He'll probably spread these sheep out and try and see what he can find with those, and uh, of course send them back to his TC as well, because he will need to keep his villagers busy starting to go and get those deer over on that side now. Doubt doesn't seem to have deer very close by. He does have these berries though, uh, but no deer nearby for him at all, and that means Tim might have a little bit of an advantage going into the feudal age, especially with these deer here, and as far as I can see, the extra sheep as well. He's got quite a few there, and uh, Doubt really doesn't have that many. He has two on this side, three down here, and the berries, and that's it. So Doubt possibly going to be a little bit further behind, but there's still no saying for sure that that is the case. Probably should be trying to focus on getting uh, deep sea fish and not shore fish. Um, perhaps you could work on that one a little bit but Tim going for the deep sea fish here and he is falling a little bit further behind in score which is interesting 20 population for him, 19 for doubt and Tim does seem to have the better map coverage as well so not really sure why his score is slightly behind here but it is um, but nevertheless they are still fairly close together anyway and um, really we'll see what happens once they get up to the feudal age that'll give us a good idea of where this game is going to go but I've got to say Tim looks to be off to a better start at this stage and um, he is doing pretty good he's not even been population capped yet which is well it's not really a huge feat to uh, to accomplish but uh, considering doubt was population capped for a little while there um, that is something to bear in mind getting a few fishing ships out now, I say a few, that's uh, four, five, six, seven right there and um, Tim likely to be on about the same yeah, a good six, seven fishing ships there, continuing to build them as well because that food count really does need to be given a little bit of a boost, they will want to reach the feudal age uh, pretty shortly as you don't want to be uh, out gallied on the water. There's a Tim villager right there, and I wonder what Tim is doing with this villager. He's found exactly where Viper is. Oh, not Viper, to Doubt even. And that is not good. Tim going to lose that villager there. Doubt, a nice little reaction, noticing the villager just sneaking in there and killing her off. That poor villager took an arrow to the knee, all right. And she did used to be an adventure, and then she died. And uh, yeah, I think Tim now losing that villager, that's uh, not so great for him, but Doubt I don't think has found Tim yet. He's probably got an idea, uh, he does know he's here, you he can see those chopped wood patches there. Whether he's noticed that or not is another story, but I imagine he probably has noticed that and he has got a good idea where Tim is. Sending these villagers out down here now, is he going to go for the berries? What's he going for? What is he doing? At the moment it says they're still shepherds, but I'll keep an eye out on them. Maybe he's going to build another dock or go for the gold. Actually, yeah, he's going to have to go for the gold all the way down here. And that's another thing that we often see in Nomad. Um, your opponents, um, sorry, your gold is usually very far away from your town centre unless you build a town centre luckily very close to a gold pile. All of the gold on this map seems to be down the bottom of the island here and uh, both of these guys are going to have to travel a long way from their town centre to get to their gold patches and Tim is doing just that right now, moving over to this gold down here and Doubt going to this gold over here as well and a stable down here and a couple of scout cavalries could do a hell of a lot of damage if they were to um, if they were to attack these gold miners because they are so far away from anything at all and that is not good at all for them uh, but I'm sure they're both in the same situation so it's not the end of the world sometimes you do see nomad maps where one person is extremely close to gold and the other is less so which is kind of unfortunate second docks going up right now for Tim and he will be looking to get pretty aggressive on the water I imagine once he reaches feudal doubt doing the same his second dock going up just there 
and bear in mind now Doubt is going to reach the Feudal Age first and in a decent time as well. Uh, Tim's quite a way off from Feudal yet. Yeah, Doubt getting up right now and we'll see those galleys coming out very quickly and Tim's boats could be gone in a matter of moments because Tim is not going to be able to get out another galley or a galley yet for a, a quite some time actually. He's still quite a way from the Feudal Age yet and it looks to me like Doubt is going to be the first to get there and uh, that is going to be a big knock to Tim unfortunately for him and uh, I think Doubt is probably going to be pretty confident in this. A bit confused, Tim could have gone for the uh, deer to get up to the feudal age a little bit faster, that could have had um, could have had a bit of bet a bit of a better impact and that probably would have uh, got him up to the feudal age first for sure and if he had got feudal first he would have had these docks out already and the galleys out there's Tim going up to the feudal age now and he will be making galleys over here but he's going to be a little bit late and there's already going to be two galleys out on the water almost four by the time Tim can even get two out of his own so it looks like Tim is going to be up against these two galleys here fighting for his life or fleeing for his life with his fishing ships as Doubt comes in and tries to take out as many of those as he can. Tim with a third dock down here though and uh, that means he has got three docks and it does mean he can produce more galleys now but whether he goes from all out into galleys or not is another question altogether. Fleeing with his fishing ships right now and Doubt is trying to pick them off and take them out as he can. Um, Keep an eye on the water at the same time. And nice from Tim. Doubt here even. A tower coming up onto Tim's gold. And Doubt is just going to get that up, I think, before Tim's goes up. And, oh, it's going to be close, actually. I think Tim is going to get his up first, actually. But still, that's pretty nice from Doubt. Getting in nice and early. Getting aggressive. Trying to take out Tim's wood. Because, of course, if he does take out the wood, then Tim is going to find himself in a bad spot as... Um, he won't be able to gather quite as much uh, wood and make quite as many galleys which is of course going to give Doubt the advantage on the water. Not sure if Tim's lost any fishing ships just yet but he is still closing them down and Doubt is trying to deal with the galleys from Tim as well over here and this watchtower still stands but it looks to me like it's not going to be lasting very long. Forcing Tim away from this wood for the time being though and it looks like Tim is going to have to wait for this watchtower to go down before he can gather any more wood or he's going to remove uh, his or move even his wood gatherers and move them to another location to keep them safe. Looks like this watchtower will go down pretty quickly and Doubt now chasing Tim down on the water. Looks to be off to a decent start into the feudal age actually. Tim's had to flee with all of his boats and both these guys still gathering gold down at the bottom here. Doubt starting to take berries as well and he's now can't be so sure of keeping his fishing ships alive of course he'd like to do that but it seems to me like they could be in a lot of danger if Tim does win the water I've got to say at the moment it does look like Doubt is away in the lead with the water at the moment anything else going on on land well Tim has just taken out Doubt's watchtower and Tim is building a barracks on land right here he's probably not so confident that he's won the water here in fact he's even stopped creating galleys right now uh, he's not creating any galleys at all and that could indicate that he's looking to go for a land attack. He's moving forward with two villages, building an archery range right here. And I think Doubt is going to be making a barracks perhaps just here as well. There we go, a barracks from him. And we could see a transition from Tim into a archer attack very quickly. He won't have that much gold though, and he will be quite limited to how many archers he can make. But at the moment, He's slowing down his galley production, um, that is for sure, and looks to me like he is going to lose the water here, or he has lost it already, because uh, Doubt has quite a few galleys out on the water already. He's already taking out his fishing ships down here, but uh, Doubt actually losing his fishing ship over here, a bit messy from him, and Tim managing to pick them off, going to be able to... Uh, take out Tim's galleys here though and it looks to me like Tim is going to be a little bit unfortunate and not be able to win the water in this situation but he is going to focus on a land attack right now an archery range coming up, a second one coming up as well, an archery range from Doubt also but Tim's got his up first and the second one is on the way and it looks to me like he's going for archers which is going to be a huge problem for Doubt here as uh, a couple of archers around the back can do a lot of damage to him especially if they do end up going down to this gold pile and attacking this as well, Doubt going to be in a horrible situation if that does happen. However, 
Looks to me like Doubt does have the water control firmly in his favour. He's taking out most of the fishing ships from Tim here, and Tim is losing a hell of a lot of his economy from it. Doubt keeping his fishing ships alive, that is a useful thing to do, but Tim just did get a pick on a fishing ship there, which was pretty nice. But here goes the archery ranges now, a second archery range from Doubt as well. Doubt may decide to make... Um, archers, he, he's got quite a lot of uh, gold available to him, but he was going for skirmishers just there, which was the right thing to do, countering Tim's archers, and this is where the game dropped, Doubt lost his connection here, and uh, the game was restored. Unfortunately, we don't have the rest of the game because, uh, as I said before, you can't restore a recorded game and uh, continue recording, which is a real pain in the ass. But I can tell you that Doubt did go on to win that game, probably because he would have had water control. He could have even done a landing on Tim if he wanted to, but more likely the fact that uh, Doubt was quite far in the lead at this stage and managed to maintain his lead. Unfortunately, we can't see exactly how he won, but he did win, making it 1-0 to Doubt. And uh, I will bring you the next game very shortly.